Hello, welcome to another Battlefield Explorer video. Another one from Eimuiden, Festung Eimuiden. And we are now looking at one of the ammunition bunkers of Widerstandsnest 82 or heavy flag, medium flag battery Olmen. In order to protect their massive Schnellboat bunkers that were built on the harbor behind me. Then there is the gun battery Herendown, which you can just make out what the fourth gun bunker. Then there's Amsterdam, not too far away. This was a strategic place which needed proper protection. The Germans built multiple batteries around Eimuiden and this is one of them, this is, this, as I said, Olmen and it's well preserved and this is a uh, typical German ammunition bunker simple, effective small access door to get in but it also has a defensive area because it has a Tobruk mounted on top of it. And a Tobruk is a small bunker which has a entrance and a gun position which could house a flamethrower, a machine gun or even a mortar. You can see some more ammunition storage base down here. And then there is the Tobruk. Located next to or close to the ammunition bunker. This is the fire control bunker. It's huge. It is big. First, let's look at the outside. Another Tarouk. With an entrance, even a stair to climb down. A covered trench. Oh, sorry about the wind. Just jump down into a side room. This uh, bunker was um, finished in 1942, has a concrete volume of 1400 cubic meters, and it's a uh, it's a it's two types of bunkers combined: an FL244 and an FL351. This is the um, uh, the, the forward-facing and this had a distance calculator if i translate it correctly so this is the mount it's a uh, very delicate device so it needed proper protection and as on the other bunkers the mounts are still visible and we're going to see what we can find in this bunker so on both sides there's a small room and then we will go down into the depths, see what we can find there. So let's see if we can get in here. Of course, machine gun pit for protection. been bricked up. Oh no, it's not. A very quick overview. Batteries are going down. It's big. And when the lights go out, it's dark. Let's try again.
Well, don't want to risk without a battery staying here. That's a big, big bunker. Having moved to the rear end of the bunker, this whole flag battery system used to be connected with covered trenches. And here is one that we can follow for a bit. If you look behind me, this is where it ends. Maybe there is more, but it's caved in and there's not much point in going in now. So a small section of There's a tunnel there as well. Ugh, the air is foul here. And it's too small. I'm too big. Going through the tunnel. That leads towards the Tobruk. This is a storage area. And this is into the fire control bunker. machine gun position and this is the other side of the hallway you were in earlier beautiful beautiful and a bit spooky They were moved into these positions. The guns had a top, so this entire area was covered by a, a top through which the gun would fire. These are all ammunition storage. These were more than 10.5 centimeter guns, which could fire up to two kilometers. And then here is a stairway leading down into the people area where the persons who manning the bunker could sleep, eat and be merry between shooting down American and British bombers. tunnel down and there's part of the bunker as well which is a machine gun post attached to the anti-aircraft bunkers is this little machine gun bunker good protection if you Disregard that dune there, would have a nice field of fire. And I was standing on there first. And interesting here is the graffiti, which is everywhere. So this is a gun mount number two. Number one is over there. Here is number four actually. So there are two up front and then two behind them, making for a formidable anti-aircraft position. Behind the flag battery, as it was at the front, out of the wind, which is very nice, there is a um, machine gun post. Looks evil. And it's here to protect that side. And here is an entrance into, well, I don't know actually, but it doesn't really look like something that I would fit in, so we're not going to find out today. Another entrance to a bunker, which I think 
is the M183 machine bunker, which would provide current 40 battery. Some generators would be put up here, fuel tanks as well. And there was a complete workshop in which any damage to the weapons could be fixed. We are going to end our video of Battery Allman looking at this big bunker. It's the uh, same one that's hidden in the dunes. It's almost completely invisible now. This one is far better uh, to see. It's uh, one of the two machine shops generator bunkers that this battery had. And uh, this is a big bunker. It's exactly the same size as the one hidden inside the dunes. This one's built just outside of it. Interesting to see here, this is the concrete road bed that the Germans built to bring in park vehicles or bring in to bring in stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my overview of Battery Allman. Please subscribe if you like my videos and leave anything in the comments if I made a mistake or you want to say anything to me. I'll do my best to reply as soon as possible. Thank you very much.